guys, welcome back to Caricature Speed Painting with Marcus. This is episode 13. What? Episode 13? Where are the other 12? Well, I'm gonna go back and rename my other videos just for the sake of having a consistent title. So anyways, today I'm painting another StarCraft 2 player. This guy's name is Dimaga. He's from Ukraine, he plays Zerg for Team MTW, and his face is amazing. Glee scary. This painting took an hour and 35 minutes to paint. It was really fun, because this guy has quite an interesting face. I don't think I've painted anyone from Ukraine before. The lighting in my photo reference was really crazy. I bet the photo reference I used was taken at the same time and place as a reference I used for my Idra painting. Very purpley pink skin tones. So I think this painting took just a bit longer because I wanted to get those skin tones right. I also had fun painting his headphones. It's always nice painting shiny stuff because it really doesn't take that much work to make things look reflective and glossy. Work was cancelled for me today because it was windy and rainy this morning. You can't draw live caricatures when 1. The wind and rain mess up your drawing, and 2. There's no people to draw because it's raining. But I'm not too bummed. I got to stay home and do a digital painting to share with y'all. Funny thing was, about an hour after my boss called me and told me not to come into work, it stopped raining and the wind died down. Oh well. I guess I'll talk a little bit about why I like StarCraft in this episode. I played StarCraft a lot when I was a kid. Well, actually I was into Warcraft 2 first. I played that a lot online with my cousin back when we used to have dial-up internet. We'd play Garden of War 2 vs 6 computers. We would always spawn in the bottom right, and we'd wall ourselves in with arrow towers. And the computer would never be able to get past that wall, so they would eventually just build a bunch of griffins and dragons and we would be prepared for them with a ton of troll axe throwers and human archers. Eventually we'd move out and pick them off one by one. An average game took about an hour and a half. And if one of our houses got a phone call, we would get disconnected. Yeah. Good times. Thumbs up if any of you played Warcraft 2. But yeah, Starcraft was my favorite game in middle school. I played Battle.net with my friends like every night. I was one of those no rush 20 minute guys. My favorite build was the Battlecruiser Rush. I used to play on LAN with my older brother and my cousin too. But we'd each have to select a different race. My cousin would go Terran, my brother Protoss, and I was forced to play Zerg. I say forced because I liked Terran more and I thought Zerg was harder to play. I grew out of StarCraft once I got to high school and started playing Counter-Strike, but last year when I heard StarCraft 2 beta was out and that the game was coming, I got super excited to play again. I was watching a ton of HD StarCraft and Husky StarCraft videos. Then I found Day9, who is my favorite StarCraft 2 caster slash talkie person. He does such a great job of teaching players the foundations of StarCraft in order to be a better player. I learned a lot from his show. But yeah, when the game came out last summer, I played the crap out of it. Every day after I came home from work, I would play online until it was time to sleep. I barely did any paintings that summer after I got StarCraft 2. Then school started up again, and I was too busy to put in all that time and practice it requires to be good at the game. So instead, I just watched pros play with commentary from guys like Husky, Psy StarCraft, and Day9. Well then, I guess that's it. If you enjoyed watching my video, I would really appreciate it if you could click on the thumbs up button and leave me a comment to let me know what you thought of my painting, or suggest who I should paint next. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can get updated whenever I post my new videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya!